Good morning, and it's Joe, and today is the day that I am going to begin experimentation with the high-impact polyurethane dissolvable hips filament that everybody's so excited about, and I'm very excited to do it myself. So I printed out a little TARDIS for my TARDIS run board game, a little whimsical sort of tardis -y thing didn't quite come out in the back, but who cares? The point is this is going to disappear, and I'm going to take it and drop it into a big old mason jar, of Limoline D, which I bought off of uh, Amazon, um, and I took it all and put it, mm, it smells orangey, because it's, it's derived from oranges, apparently, and I put it in a big old mason jar, and we're going to drop the TARDIS in the mason jar, and then we're going to watch it dissolve over the course of the day. Now, I hear that if you take this stuff and you heat it up, it dissolves faster, and I hear if you take this stuff and agitate it, it dissolves faster. I could potentially put it on a hot plate and heat it a little bit. I've got one, a candle warmer, really, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I might try it on a later experiment, but for now, eh, no worries. Um, also, I I hear if, if you agitate it, but I found out that those little like scientific agitators where they have a magnet spinning underneath and a magnet inside that spins and agitates it, yeah, those cost about 900 bucks, so no way I'm getting one of those. If you know a cheaper solution, let me know in the comments or wherever you see this video. Or just contact me. I, I, I love hearing from people. Um, so here we go. We're going to take this. We're going to drop it in. We're going to time lapse it. Feel free as you watch it dissolve to make your own tardis warping sound. And watch it disappear. Here we go. This should be fun. So here we are the next morning, and I have a big jar of muddy solution. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I didn't realize that it was going to pollute it quite so much. So lesson number one, use a small jar of this stuff that's only big enough to dissolve away the thing that you want to dissolve. This is going to kind of mess with the next plan that I have where I wanted to watch something dissolve in here. So. Oh, well, we'll see how that goes. Um, I also am embarrassed because I didn't realize that it was going to float the whole time. Of course it was going to float. I printed it with 20% infill, like I print everything. It was mostly air inside there, so my next part I'm going to have to uh, weigh it down as well. But, so, overall, Limeline D dissolves hips 
very well. Just give it time. You don't need to agitate it. You don't need to heat it. Although I might need to heat it for the next one because like I say, it's all cloudy now and there's a possibility that it won't dissolve as well. But, yeah, it still smells like oranges. So it's got to have something in it still. So cool. Uh, the only problem with hips is limelin D is kind of hard to get. You can't run to your local hardware store and get it like you can acetone or something. Oh well. So stay tuned for part two as I dissolve something else in hips that will hopefully be cool. And then part three, I will uh, work on using built-in supports with hips, which is a new feature in MakerWare uh, that is... They, they've done a really good job with this. And so... That'll be part three, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching.